Huh. I don't know what to say. We're just playing. We're just back playing this game. Although, it although there is something I want to say. I am very upset that Tears of the Kingdom do not win Game of the Year. I'm very sad about that. I mean, hey, it won Best Action Adventure Game, and I know I haven't mentioned Tears of the Kingdom, but that's what I was hoping would win Game of the Year, but it didn't. I mean, hey, Mario won, won Best Family Game, so we're gonna continue playing it to get today. Last time we left off by just going to the battleship, so I think we'll actually get the battleship and all of that done in this episode. <coughs> Sorry. This... I like the design of this airship, though. It's like green, mechanical. There's these battery enemies. Whoa. They explode like fireworks. Doesn't look like they can damage you, but... Oh, and our first introduction of bullet bills. Nice. We gotta use... Oh, we definitely gotta use it for that. Okay, hold on. Wait, no. Oh, you can hold him. Cool. Where does this lead? Because that was pretty obvious. Oh, so just a 10 coin thing. Well, that'll definitely be useful for whenever the levels approach themselves as they have these enemies. As far as I know, this airship only has one wonder seed. So as long as we get the boss, we sh or what I assume is going to be a boss for this airship, we should be pretty okay. And here's the wonder flower. we got to use the cool trick to get to it. Oh god! It doesn't make it more fun, it just makes it more dangerous. There's a Bowser laser trying to shoot me in the face! Ah. I failed to avoid it. Oh god, no, please don't kill me now. Because it's in reserve, I'll use my elephant ability. As much as I hate this ability, I don't want to die. Oh my god, can this end? This thing's just gonna keep trying to shoot at me. Shoot me. That seems like a dumb idea, but I can get the Wonder Seed. Okay, well, if I got the Wonder Seed there, then there's also a checkpoint here. So I think we're still finding a boss. We're just not getting a Wonder Seed from it. From it. Unless it's a secret one. bob -omb. is a new pushy enemies. They take multiple hits to do. These bob -omb's look different, though. They have a more blue tint to them. Rather than full on black. No. Okay. Now what's this? <gasps> it's a bob -omb construction line. What? We just gotta press the button? Well, that seemed pretty easy. And off we go with our flower. So there wasn't a boss, it was just a big mechanical thing we needed to destroy. Oh god, it's just gonna sit there? That was the scariest thing yet. Sure, I guess. I mean, there was that Bowser laser trying to shoot us. Oh, what is this now? Even more levels. Like, like last episode. I knew this world was super extensive. There's so many levels. What does this poplin shop have to offer? Safety bounce. Bounce back out of pits, lava, or poison swamps. Just one time per fall. That is actually a pretty good buy. But I think I'll save it till later. I think it's time we buy another standee. See what we can get. Eh, just a regular posing green Yoshi. Now we unlock the castle. And I'm really hoping that this has a different kind of boss rather than Bowser Jr. Fluff Puff Peaks Palace. Ah, makes sense. But how is there a, how is there a palace in the clouds? Tell me that. This place is intense. It is, considering it's a castle that's somehow being able to stay in the sky. Oh jeez. Skeleton piranhas. Well, that's definitely new. Walking skeleton piranhas. Maybe Prince Florian was white. Right. Maybe this is the scariest thing yet. <gasps> Bubble flower. This will definitely help. Let's go. Okay, so I think you can only have a little bit, a limited amount of bubbles, unless I'm wrong about that one. Wait, there's a wonderful. How do we get to it? Will the bubble do something? <gasps> what 
Oh. Oh. Interesting. But, like, why does the pipe do that? There are a lot of new pipe mechanics to this game, and some of them are good, but then some of them are annoying. Oh my lord. What the f*** is this? Why am I long? Why am I elongated Mario? What is- what is happening? Why am I so long? What is this? Why is everything a silhouette as well? This wasn't the idea I had in mind when people would say the words expand Mario. I don't know, this makes the level more dangerous. I don't want to have to die to like, see? What is happening? I can't survive this. That is the first, well not the first time, but that was weird. How the hell am I supposed to survive that? I'm just an erect Mario. Gosh, you move so slow when you're in non-erect form either. Let me live until the end at least. Oh gosh, please no, please. Oh, we actually made it. That, that had me really scared. And like the other palace, we're heading up to the boss room. And like I said, I hope this isn't Bowser Jr. Gotta go through a hallway to get to it now. Hey, it's you. Yeah, and I don't want you to be here either. Sure, we're gonna do a boss battle, but I don't want it to be you! Why is it all just you, you stupid... And he's gonna become overcome with magic, but... Yes, he turns to that again. I don't want this! I want new bosses! Why is it ice?! It's like a combination of Lemmy and Wendy's castles from the, like, older Mario games. What is this?! Is this like liquid gold? What on earth is this? And he's still not done. Back to what I say. Gosh, I actually hate this. Like, the reason I hate this is because I don't want more Bowser Jr. I just want actual bosses. Oh, that's what he does with whatever this assumed liquid is. There, he's dead. Go away! Go away, forever. I want actual bosses, you twat! Well, at least this way we still have the royal seed. Hooray. Again, I still wonder how there is a castle in the sky, or a palace that can exist in the sky. Wait, how's there grass around it? What will await them? New power-ups, because I have been spoiled a bit in this game after watching various clips from the Game Awards. <laughs> what? Why did you say that? Well, that's the castle done. Man. This takes us back to the start. Head back to Petal Owls. Sure. We can make Bowser weaker. Get rid of those terrifying cloud piranhas. Now let's see the royal seed work in action. Go ahead. Get rid of one of the cloud piranhas protecting Bowser. Yes, do it. Bowser needs to leave. <laughs> the blue one, huh? If I'm correct, or what I assume is going to be every point from now on in this game, whatever royalty color you correct, collect, that's the corresponding piranha cloud. The royalty was blue, the piranha cloud was blue. I'm pretty sure if things change colors, that's how it's going to work. And now we can actually move on to the island I tried to reach before, but it couldn't because of continuity. Badge challenge, dolphin kick too. Now we've already got dolphin kick, I don't want to do that again. Oh, another Wiggler race. Nice. Wiggler race. Yeah, I know how this works. I don't even need the mushroom. Go! Mother... No! 
Oh. Oh no. No one told me this was underwater. Wait, no, 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 no one told me this. Oh, finally land. Let's go. No, I have to go underwater. No, he's going ahead. Come on, Mario. Please, I don't want to have to lose to a wiggler. Come on. Oh, yes, the end. Finally. That took way longer than it needed to. If I had the dolphin kick ability, I would have actually done pretty good. Pretty useful. Although, I think with what we already have, I think we can unlock the next world's... Never mind, we can't. We have to at least get one more wonder seed. Although, based on how much we've already done, I think all we're going to do is at least get one more wonder seed. And that'll be it, so... Yeah, whatever this level is, we'll do this, and that'll be the end for this episode. Although, looking at these clouds here, I have a feeling if that, that if I eat the wonder flower, I'm going to turn into one of them. They're a pretty useful upstream thing, though. Wait, what? Half the time they're crying, and half the time they're happy. We're kind of speed running through this level. But I gotta make sure to find the Wonder Flower as well, because otherwise we won't. We gotta make sure to get the Wonder Flower. Now, what is that glowing thing down there? This Koopa shell ought to help us. And it's just a bunch, a bunch of coins. But like I was trying to say before, we make sure we gotta make sure we get the Wonder Flower. Otherwise, we won't be able to get both Wonder Seeds, like this level has. But that, and that leads to the question, ah yes, where could the Wonder Flower be? There was a pipe there, but, ooh, I don't know, maybe, what if it's up here? What, where does this flower lead to, by any chance? Could we know? Oh, it's just a one-up. Oh, why is it hidden in the cloud? That's funny. Oh, gosh. I'm just falling in reverse. Well, this is definitely weird. We're kind of just floating through the sky here. It's fun, I'll admit that, but... Star, you're done. Now nobody can get in my way. I've also noticed that the um star music is pretty different in this game. It's not that it's bad, it's just that I'm kinda used to the other star music though. Oh, there's the wonder seed. At least now I'll know. Wait, we teleport? Okay. At least now I'll know that if we get to the end we'll have both wonder seeds. So let's go to the exit! Wait, it's another one of those, like, really long flagpoles, I see. And we made it! That was a pretty interesting Wonder Flower thing, but... Again, it's probably not the most unique Wonder Flower gimmick I've seen. I've seen better, like, the last episode there was quite a bit of interesting ones. I'm gonna have trouble cutting down this episode, actually. We have enough to get through there, but like I said, we may as well just end the episode there. Hope you enjoyed, goodbye and subscribe!